that we talked about the transmural pressures. All the transmural pressure we have talked about, right? They were transpulmonary, transthoracic, and transrespiratory. So three of these curves are given over here. What I told you about transpulmonary, it is going to be always positive, right? So see over here, the graph which is showing, this is the pink color graph. You can see over here that this is the zero value. And in this graph, I have negative values also. I have positive values also, right? So zero is coming in between, right? So when I say that zero is coming in between and there is a graph which is coming only and only towards the positive pressures, it is not starting from the negative. That means it must be the transpulmonary pressure that they are talking about, right? And that's why it is written as L, that means lungs right and the one pressure that we talked about the another the second one that is the uh, trans thoracic pressure or the pressure the transmural pressure across the chest wall right so this w is coming for that wall okay chest wall ka w is the wall this is the diagram which is given in the genome so please remember it's very very important now you'll ask me ma'am what is this third line the third line is average of the two which is trans respiratory pressure trans respiratory pressure and when we saw one question over there there is again x was denoted x was denoted this x was this point like this the line was drawn and the x was denoted that is INICT 2021 question right so x was denoted what is this x please take a note of it that x is the point where your trans thoracic and trans uh, pulmonary pressure is equal but opposite okay so let's say it is going to have minus 5 pressure uh, in the chest uh, across the chest wall and plus 5 pressure across the lung so they're going to balance each other they're going to balance each other and there will be no entry or exit of the air and no muscle will be contracting at that point so this is the point where both the pressures are equal but opposite in the direction and that's why there is no entry or exit of the air what is that volume must be? That volume is that. Uh, which point I have to repeat, Bache? I'll repeat it. Just uh, focus over here. This is the point after the uh, normal expiration. After the normal expiration, when I stop there, what is going to happen? No muscle is contracting. All the muscles are relaxing, right? And when I calculate the pressure over there, it is going to be this one, right? So this is nothing but the point where... I'm going to get my FRC. I'm going to get my FRC. All right. Uh, PW and PL. What is this PL and PW? Remember, I told you in the transpulmonary pressure that we have started the class with. Okay. So we have discussed three pressures transpulmonary pressure, transthoracic pressure, and transrespiratory pressure. What was transpulmonary pressure? It is across the pulmonary um, wall, right? That is lung. This was A was the transpulmonary. This was the B, which is transthoracic, right? And C is transrespiratory. The one thing I told you, we calculated also that transpulmonary is always going to be positive. So when I draw a graph of transmural pressure, I'm going to get a graph always towards the positive side that cannot be any other than the transpulmonary. Because the transthoracic can go in the negative, the transrespiratory also can go in the negative. So these two pressures can go in the negative. Now, transthoracic pressure is the pressure across the chest wall. When I start calculating it, it is going to be in the negatives, right? And finally, when I start to expire at that point, it can be in the positive. But it is not going to be only in the positive. So jo negative se start ho ke positive ke ja rahe, that is going to be your transthoracic. And average of these two, average of these two is going to be transrespiratory pressure. Okay. So when I plot it under a, a graphical representation, I'm going to have a graph like this. Okay. So when I see a pressure which is starting, okay, see over here, first of all, on the x axis, this is pressure. Pressure is how much? In between, it is zero right in the middle this line they have depicted over here this line is representing zero pressure that means if i go uh in the left of the zero it is going to be negative if i go towards the right hand side of the zero it is going to be positive there is this pink color line which is starting in the positive and remaining in the positive that means this pressure is always positive that means they're talking about the transpulmonary pressure 
right and if i have the another line that is nothing but your transmural pressure across the chest wall right which is starting in the negative but can go in the positive also now it is easier to identify which one is the average right average of these two is going to be trans respiratory pressure and this is the average value now when there is a point when this average value the trans respiratory pressures they are equal exactly equal and opposite what do you mean by exactly equal and opposite trans pulmonary pressure is always going to be positive so let's take the example that it was positive one but when you check at the same point when you check at that volume when you check the trans uh, thoracic pressure at that point it was minus one right so let's take uh, minus five over here and plus five over here that means they're balancing each other no muscle is contracting your chest cavity is not moving and this volume is none other than frc after the resting or quiet expiration you're going to your lungs are going to reach at to the frc we're going to discuss the volume also for just now remember that it can reach up to the frc and this is the uh, volume at which both the pressures will be equal and opposite all right mm -hmm.